Well, we are here today with Nick from Segway the Door Tours, and Nick is going to take us around on a little Peninsula Park Segway tour. Nick, how are you doing today? Great. Now, how far away are we from Peninsula State Park from here? This is your meeting spot, right? Right. We're about 100 yards. Perfect. Well, I'm ready. Are you? I am. Let's go. All right. Well, Nick, here we are at Peninsula State Park. What, what's next here? Well, uh, you're going to watch a seven-minute safety video. While you're doing that, I'm going to take out the segways, and then we'll do a little training session, and then go out into the park. This is a segway. Uh, to start with, this is a parking stand. You just tilt it back and take that off. There are three keys in the segway. There's a beginner key, intermediate, and advanced right here. We're going to start with the black key right here. Okay. To turn it on, we put this key right in here and wait for the sound. It's not in balance mode right now. To get it in balance mode, you have to put the platform level to the ground and press this button. And you'll feel it click into balance mode. It's now balanced. You put your toes where the dots are on either side. You stand up. And it's all in your hips. Wherever your hips go. Isn't it always? That's where <laughs> it goes. Forward. And back. To turn, you use this grip right here. Right. Uh -huh. Let's try this out. Seems like a piece of cake to me. Nick then helped guide me through some basic training on the Segway, including going forwards, going backwards, and how to easily turn the Segway whichever way I felt like it should go. It's really it's a lot easier than I anticipated, actually. Yeah. And of course, you can't forget your trusty helmet. Even though I'm a pro at these things. Gotta play it safe. That's right. Segway tours in the park typically go past the Peninsula State Park Golf Course to Nicolay Bay Beach, the Eagle Bluff Panoramic Lookout, some other scenic vistas of Green Bay, and the popular Eagle Tower, which is where we were headed for our first stop. All right, let's go check out this tower. Eagle Tower was first built in 1914, but then rebuilt again in the 1930s. The tower is 75 feet high. I made it! But when you're at the top, you're actually 250 feet above the water because the tower sits atop Eagle Bluff. They've even got a viewfinder to help you locate area landmarks. Well, now that I had a good chance to look around up here, it's time to head back down. And trust me, the way back down is a heck of a lot easier than coming up. Well, I did, in fact, count the number of steps that it, it takes to get up to the top here, but I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to make you get here and count them for yourself. We strapped our helmets back on and we're off on the segways en route to our next stop, which happened to be a scenic lookout spot just up the road. The Eagle Bluff Panoramic Lookout is accessible by car, bike, foot, and, of course, by segway. We carefully maneuvered them up to the edge of the lookout and Nick pointed out what we could see. Right over there is Horseshoe Island, and then this is Nicolay Bay right here, Chambers Island in the background, and usually you can see the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. That's quite the view. After enjoying the sights at Eagle Bluff Panorama, we headed for some of the park's scenic wooded roads, where I enjoyed cruising through a virtual tunnel of trees. Even hills are no match for these things. You can go up and down hills like a piece of cake, and if I can do it, anybody can do it. The Segway I was riding could go 12 and a half miles per hour, which meant I got to our next stop, an old ski jump, pretty quick. The ski jump was used for winter recreation in the 1930s and 40s, but all that remains now is an informational sign and the great view. The beauty of these things are, you can balance on them pretty easy. Ain't no hands, and I'm still a pretty good rookie, so they really take a lot of the balancing act out of the picture for you. Segways can go about 24 miles per charge, so we had no problem with our 12-mile tour of Peninsula State Park. Well, Nick, I gotta tell you, this has been a blast today. Thanks so much for letting me come on a tour. Where else do you do tours up here in Door County? Well, uh, two rustic roads near Bailey's Harbor, and then also Washington Island. Tours are typically how long? About two hours, although uh, Washington Island is a five-hour tour. Well, you guys got to check these segways out. They're a blast. It's a really fun way to tour Door County. Thanks so much, Nick. I appreciate it today. We'll see you next time.